Well, welcome to Club N1645, and we're in Dorset, and that village in front of us is Godminstone, and this is all in Cern Valley. If you carry on that way, that takes you towards the Cern Abyss Giant, and if you pan round this way, that takes you towards Dorchester and this Sheila there. She must get so bored of me coming out of these club and No, stuff. it's lovely. Okay. It's a beautiful walk today. <laughs> it is. Um, it's often said the uh, club men in Dorset uh, were sympathetic to the royalist cause. But in the village there, in Godmanstone, in February 1645, there was a skirmish with the club men, with um, Gorman's troops, where some of Gorman's troops were actually killed by the club men. And if we move on to uh, March, the uh, club men threatened to join uh, Colonel Graves and Weldon and um, join the club men in Somerset on taking on Gorman's troops also. So it's a bit of a myth the Dorset club men were all royalists with their sympathies. In fact, Humphrey Willis talks about the Dorset club men being infiltrated uh, by uh, Royalist sympathisers when he did his, uh, when the declaration was read on Cattle Hill in Somerset. So there was obviously a split, I would say, in the Dorset club men who were sympathetic to the Royalists. Some would have been sympathetic to the parliamentarians because uh, some of the rest in Shaftesbury are interested because some of them were sympathetic to the parliamentarians. But in Goblinstone, as I said, in February of 1645, some of Gorman's troops were killed in the village. And you can see the church. The church is over there. Um, keep an eye on the Clubman website. Clubman 1645, work in progress.